Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy M. Breezy back at it again, man, like I always do around this time. What's up, Cowboy Nation? What's up, YouTube? Hey, man, before we get started today, man, with this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Uh, let's share the video, man. Let's continue to help the channel grow, and I appreciate all you guys for tuning in. So let's get on with the show, man, for today. Where well, your man, Dak Prescott, had made another appearance. Uh, I think he was at some little uh, pro camp, uh, you know, for Aberson, one of his, you know, endorsements deal that he had with the Dallas Cowboys because you know he has many uh, as long as he's, he's a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys so he made a recent appearance man and um, Rich Eisen spoke on the situation because you know that anytime there's any news uh, about the Dallas Cowboys anytime a player open their mouth to speak at, whether it be at uh, you know press conference or you know on social media or like video or anything anything got to do with you know Cowboys you know everybody gonna tune in and, you know, the news is slowing down in sports. So, you know, everybody going to jump on this and make a big deal out of it because, you know, who he is and uh, that press guy hasn't hit and he has not got signed yet. So we're going to take a listen to Rich Eisman um, and see what he had to say about the situation. And uh, we're going to listen to what that press guy had to say, uh, you know, about his contract. And, you know, some of these guys, man, these fanboys try to make a big deal out of nothing, man, because, you know, all they, all they do you know, because, you know, they're major click baiters, you know, uh, when it comes to Dyke Prescott. And and I don't see where nowhere in this uh, video clip that Dyke Prescott, well, should I say like this? There's no way uh, that nothing Dyke Prescott said that indicated that a deal is going to be done real soon. And, you know, these fanboys, they, they, they nervous, they scared, and they're they hoping for a deal to come, man. You know, they, they're praying the deal to come up. But, you know, they're trying to force it the deal to come up, uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's not happening yet, man. Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones are holding their ground, man. And Rich Eisen said something that caught my attention, man. And uh, when you guys hear it, it's going to catch your guys' attention too. And But we're going to speak on it, man, you know, after the guy uh, get through with saying what he's saying. Uh, but uh, we're going to listen to this, man, clip, man. And uh, when we get there, you guys are going to know it because this is going to be a very interesting take. And it makes you wonder, man, Makes you really wonder what's really going on in the mind of Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones, <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys owners and general managers and COO and CO and so far on. So let's get on with this clip, man. And we're going to come back to come to the man. You know how we do. You know how we do. What about Project 2025? As in his contract. You're making some people uh, I'm really <laughs> upset right now. <laughs> No, people should Google Project 2025. No, no, in all honesty, in the, seriously, there's though, a lot of them that want to in keep sports. Quiet about no, no. <laughs> uh, what, what, what about his contract? Hmm. Is he going to be a free agent in 2025 or not? Is he just going to walk away from the Dallas Cowboys or not? Are the Cowboys going to actually sign this man prior to this season and extend him? Well, not with the walking boot on. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Can't. So you know. You know and you know, Rick, Rich Eisman, you know, he, he's on the NFL Network, the NFL Game Day Morning Show, uh, you know, every season. And you know, these guys, you know, they, 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 a lot of time when these guys speak, you can, you can somewhat take it to the bank. Uh, you can, because right now, Jerry Jones don't got, don't, don't, got these guys don't know what to think. Because, you know, this is unprecedented of a second runner up to the MVP race and a, uh, uh, second team all pro hasn't got signed a big deal while all the other guys can sign these deals this is unprecedented so hey man Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones got their media they don't know what to expect they got the United Prescott fan boys uh, pennies all in a bunch these guys are more afraid of uh, uh, that Prescott not getting a deal than anybody and you can tell it man you know uh, when they put out their little content their little feelings be getting hurt man because one minute when someone says something bad about that Prescott they hate the guy like James Jones, when uh, we lost to the Green Bay Packers, he said something bad about Dak Prescott. And now, yesterday, he came out and said something good about Dak Prescott. And they, hey, these guys putting out these video like uh, uh, James Jones, the, the next president of the United States of America, man. <laughs> I told you, these guys are bipolar, man. They want any news about Dak Prescott to be good news, man. And they will take it to the bank and run with it. But, hey, man, it's, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. Dude, <laughs> this is what he had to say about his current contract situation. 
Yeah, I mean, there's there's been um, conversations back and forth, but uh, for the most part, for me, as, as y'all know, I've been letting my agent do that, uh, especially as we get right here into training camp. Day one of training camp, my mind flips to just obviously helping my team and just doing everything I can within the organization and on the football field to make sure that I'm my best and everyone around me is their best. And, uh, the money and all that will take care of itself as it always has. So it's like the walking boot. Don't okay. worry about it. It's don't there, it. but don't don't pay any attention It'll to it. It'll take care of itself. It'll take care of itself. Okay. Now tell me, because I've been seeing videos of the fanboys putting up uh, about don't don't be uh, uh, this this is some very updating news about that person got contract contract situation and the deal is going to be uh, in the making pretty soon. This don't say this don't give you no indication that a deal is going to get done before the season starts or, or even before training camp begins. That, that, like I say, these fanboys rushing these lies out there, making you people believe these lies they're telling about that press guy in this contract situation. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening because these these are uh, the same sentiments that that press guy been saying all our season about his contract. And you guys try to fool the public that what he said right there will make you think a deal is a deal is around the corner. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. You can stop lying. Stop with the cap. Stop with the cap. Right? Because. You want to know what? What's really real? Listen to this, what Rich Eisman said right here. And this here is going to be a shock to you all. I'll just keep repeating this until it happens. I don't understand it. I do not understand it. Three weeks from training. Jordan camp. Love is going to sign before week one. Before Jordan Love gets on that plane to Brazil, <laughs> he is going to sign a massive contract with the Green Bay Packers. It's going to happen. And yes, sports fans, before the Dolphins kick off their 2024 season, Tua Tungo Vailoa will sign a massive deal with the Miami Dolphins. That will spark conversations as to whether he deserves it or not. If you thought the Trevor Lawrence deal sparked conversation about the person who John Hancock did, deserved it or not, anyway, <laughs> that will be a mere bag of shells. Hold that beer when Tua signs this contract. So you just said, he just said that John Love and Tua Tagovailoa are going to sign their deals before training camp begins. These are young guys. These are young guys. And they go, and they look promising, young guys, and they got a long way to go. But Dak Prescott is going into his ninth season, when well, you can say eight because he got hurt uh, multiple times over his career. I think it equaled out to him missing a whole season. But anyway, he's going to his ninth season, and the guy every year does the same thing, get to the playoffs, and he loses. Now you don't see you know, like, most, a lot of these young guys haven't been uh, got to the playoffs yet, and you know. And keep and back to back years and keep losing, losing the same way, and and you can take it from that that you can say that these guys' careers, young careers, are looking very promising because we haven't seen these guys make playing the playoff appearances and choke it up like Dak Prescott does. We know what Dak Prescott is. We see it year after year after year. You can't make this up, man. You can't make this up. You can't make it up. And you know, as as bad as it may hurt some of you fanboys out there, man, <laughs> because you're not looking too good for you guys. Uh, you're not looking promising before you. Uh, a lot of you guys' channels, when Dyke Prescott leaves uh, after this season over with, I want to see what you guys are going to do then. I want to see what you guys are going to do then. But uh, your boy and this country ain't, ain't looking too good. And this video right there don't make don't indicate nowhere that the deal is in the, in the making. No time soon. So you can start with the lies. <laughs> for real. He's going to get it. And he's going to sign it. And that's only going to make Dak's deal more expensive. Get in while the getting's good, is what I would say. And get it done before the guy shows up in Oxnard in a couple of weeks. I, because the questions will become common for him. And he knows it. He knows how to handle it. He clearly handles it himself. Hey, man. So if the deals, uh, 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 if the contracts are getting uh, uh, higher and higher, uh, for the quarterback position and pretty soon it's going to be right at the $60 million mark and Trevor Lawrence is the highest paid with Joe Burrow at 55 so 
if the Cowboys are going to do a deal with Dak Prescott, why would they wait till this deal gets sky high? Why would Jerry Jones and Stevie Jones do that? Because y'all call these guys cheap. They don't want to pay. So if these guys are not signing Dak Prescott yet, what make you think they're going to sign Dak Prescott? Because clearly they don't believe in Dak Prescott. I don't care about they they, they say that they want to make, uh, make Dak Prescott a Cowboy for the rest of his career, all this, that, and the third. They, hey, they can say anything they want to keep you fans off of them, off of them for a minute until all this season starts, training camp starts, because they, they, they're saying things that you guys want to hear, especially you fanboys, because that's what you guys want to hear, that they want Dak Prescott around to be the future of the Dallas Cowboys quarterback for the future, and you know, so on and so on. So, hey, man, it's not looking that good. And like you say, these young guys, John Love and Tua Tagovailoa, Love, these guys are young. These guys are going to get those deals. And uh, I don't think the Cowboys are going to pay Dak Prescott more than these guys when they deals when they deals come out because, like I said, Trevor Lawrence right now fifty five million dollars with Joe Burrow, and y'all say Dak Prescott is better than half of these guys. But hey, the eye don't lie. Your mouth can say what you want to say, but the eye don't lie. Those stats you putting up, those stats are, are, can be very mis mis uh, uh, <laughs> misleading <laughs> because most of, most of those stats are garbage stats, garbage yards, and you guys know it. Again, these screw up bottom feeder teams, and that's ill what it is, man. And you guys got to come to grips with it, man. But, hey, I'm going to keep coming on here, shutting out this narrative that, that a deal is in the making for Dyke Prescott until I see it. I'm going to keep on saying it. I'm going to keep on putting out this content until a deal gets done. But I don't see it, no, no deal getting done in the near future or even maybe at all. But like I say, man, you Dyke Prescott fanboy, keep your fingers crossed. Keep checking the internet <laughs> every day. Four or five times a day looking for a breaking news about the cowboy. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, man, hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button, man. Share the video. Leave a comment down below, man. And tell me, do you think that this Dyke Prescott little clip, what he just said, do, do it give you the indication that a deal is right around the corner for Dyke Prescott? Because to me, it don't. Until the next time, it's your boy Breezy. And I'm out. I'll...